first, just an update. The last few days I've been doing my income taxes, so that's a lot of paperwork. So there's been no new progress on the go-kart yet, and no more farm videos. I've just done a bunch of snowmobiling, but nothing interesting enough to film. Hey, you. Well, the rest of this video is about something I discovered when I joined YouTube three years ago. Very strange indeed, but now I'm getting along with it quite well, and I'm sure I've made a lot of things that seem unusual before mainstream now. I'm talking about automotive fetishes. Yeah, something that's like almost sexual, but has nothing to do with another person or something sexual. It has to do with machinery, cars, trucks, tires, exhaust, starting things. I'll explain. I think I've li lived a sheltered life because before I went on YouTube, the three most prevalent fetishes that I was aware of, which weren't sexual, was foot fetish, cross-dressing, and S&M. Other than that, I wasn't really aware there was anything else. And then I inadvert inadvertently posted my first starting video. I was coming back after a romp in the pond with my awesome diesel Ford truck. And it had water in the gas tank because the gas tank was leaking and I didn't even know it. So it was quite, quite a bit underwater. So by the time we got halfway back in the pouring rain to the building, it stalled. I had no idea that my buddy was even still recording me in the passenger seat and I was cranking and cursing and cursing and cranking and pumping and finally I got out and I just stomped my feet on the ground in the pouring rain and walked back to the building all pissed off. A few weeks later I replayed that tape not even knowing I was being recorded and I actually thought it was kind of funny seeing myself <laughs> acting like that and cranking that old truck and so I posted it on YouTube just for fun. I wasn't expecting what came next. All of a sudden, my inbox on my personal messages, I was getting all these big, long messages thanking me for, for that video from people who I never spoke to before on YouTube. They were my subscribers, but they were telling me that that was their maybe most authentic and one of the best videos for their fetish that there ever was, and asked me if I had any more starting videos. And I said, huh? Who wants to watch someone starting a car? I had never imagined filming all the times I got all those old cars running that I got for the farm for the very first time. I only filmed what we did with them that was exciting, like the stunts and stuff. They were all pointing out to me that I had many more old grown-in cars all over my farm that they'd seen in the background, and asked me if those cars had been started, how long had they been sitting, and if I would start them for them. I said, sure, why not? <laughs> Well, then a whole pile more people started watching me and subscribing, and word got out in that little niche of a community with starting cars, or pedal pumping as it's called, that uh, David's farm had the real stuff. You didn't have to go to a pay site and watch some person put on a pretend act of starting a flooded car, or a car with a hidden switch to shut it off so it misfired and died sometimes. Then, in inadvertently again, I would post other videos of just activities we did at the farm, and find out that there was other fetishes involved with stuff that, you know, that we did with cars, like crushing cars, which a lot of people like that, getting stuck in the mud and spinning tires, revving engines, smoky exhaust, loud exhaust. Gee, I was getting more and more messages about how people found me because of a particular video I made that was right along their lines of what turned them on. YouTube allows all these kinds of fetishes because they don't show any skin and they have nothing to do with the opposite sex. And for these people who enjoy this kind of stuff, it's free to watch. You don't have to go to pay sites anymore and watch something that might be, you know, acted. There's lots more common ones like trains, trucks, big diesels, heavy equipment, military machines. And there's even a really strange one <laughs> the Valley Fever likes. It's called mechanophilia. People imagining having sex with cars or stuff like that. Well, one thing for sure David's Farm has done on YouTube and for the world is it brought all these people out of the closet. All these people who might have thought that what they liked was just a little bit too strange to tell their friends or talk about. They kept it to themselves. And now with my videos and the comment pages below, it's like a public forum where other people with similar interests can express equal desire and passion for the type of stuff that they enjoy and make friends with other people who are similar minded. My love of automotive is actually pretty benign. 
I just like fast cars and off-road driving and turbos and standard transmissions and stuff like that. And kind of the smell and sound of diesel, but nothing I'm really passionate about. I just kind of like the automotive world and technical stuff. So I'm here to <laughs> not single anybody out, and I'll continue to make videos that will try to please a lot of people, but especially funny when a newbie comes on YouTube and they see one of my videos that are featured on YouTube and it's some video which they think is totally dumb, like a starting video. And they'll leave the craziest comments like, why was this video featured? What's so special about this video? It's just someone starting a car. Well, hopefully they'll join the club someday and enjoy. Keep watching. Because David's farm rocks. Right, kitty?